Hi Leo, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your weekly reading for April 9th through the 15th. Generally my readings are love readings, but we will see whatever comes up. Generally my readings will resonate with people that watch me the most, so if you are new it might take a few times of watching me for me to resonate with you as I, you know, get your energy. This may not resonate with you even if you have been watching me for a while because, you know, I can't, re I can't reach every single person. This is for Leo. We're going to get one of these oracle cards and reveal it at the end and then we will break right into that tarot deck. April 9th through the 15th for Leo. What does Leo need to know? What does Leo need to know this week? Thinking about walking away thinking about leaving thinking about it you're feeling insecure and unstable stubborn thinking about happiness what makes you happy what doesn't make you happy? Thinking about your relationship. Somebody may be overly emotional in regards to their, you know, happily ever after. You may be feeling like you're a victim. You may be feeling withdrawn, unable to communicate. Um... Somebody may be feeling quite, you know, with both of these queens here reversed, somebody is not feeling stable and secure and their, their emotions may be all over the place in regards to a relationship, okay? Thinking way too much, okay? Somebody is thinking but not taking any action. So something is not destined to be with the Wheel of Fortune reversed. Something is not destined and fated to happen. There's like a this is there's like some bad luck here. Somebody wants is clinging to control, uh, moving backwards, not forwards, in in a, in some sort of commitment perhaps. There's no action being taken. Somebody is stalling, being very hard hard headed. Okay really thinking 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 about what they need to do in regards to uh, some sort of commitment they're in but they may know that it's not destiny it's not fated when the wheel is reversed their intuition may be telling them that they're it's not destiny but they're unable to listen to their intuition because this person is not listening to their intuition oh so somebody is thinking about freeing themselves. They're thinking about it. They're thinking about restoring balance to their lives because we have freedom here both. Okay, somebody is absolutely contemplating what their next move is. With the Knight of Cups reversed, it's like there's this is relationship. This is no relationship growth in regards to a commitment, okay? Because there's four of wands is a commitment, but it's reversed, okay? So there's no relationship growth here. There's the romance is dying. Or something like that and someone is thinking about bringing control back to their lives freeing themselves from something but they are they're emotionally attached to it so somebody's emotionally attached to something that isn't destiny it isn't destined to be the wheel is destiny it is reversed 
okay? Because I, I feel like somebody is unable to free themselves or thinking about it. I'm thinking about it right now. I'm just thinking about it. Let me get this zoomed in. There's like, there's definitely a lack of romance with the Knight of Cups reversed. And with the devil reversed, it's like, I, 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 it's, it's about time for me to bring some uh, control back to my life and, and free myself from this negative energy. And there is definitely some negative energy here with the Queen of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups reversed. There is some negative energy here that somebody is, is thinking about taking action, but they aren't taking action. Thinking about ain't taking action, but not taking action. But there's no growth here in this commitment. This is about taking back control to bring structure back to your life. So this is a week about really coming up with a plan to restore structure. I mean, it's in two places. Somebody has been being dishonest. Maybe even lying to themselves. I mean, that's the Ace of Swords reversed. Somebody has been, you know, wearing some sort of mask being dishonest with themselves, but they're being called to restore balance, to bring back control of their life, to take back control, to take the lead, to stand up for themselves. Dishonesty. Damn it. Damn it. Somebody is totally not wanting to accept the truth or see the truth. Lack of integrity. We also have karma here. Somebody, there may be a sudden change. Suddenly, somebody might decide to change. They might decide, because now we have freedom three times. Okay, we have freedom here, freedom here, and freedom here. So somebody may be deciding to make a change, and this is suddenly, a sudden change, where you reach this crossroads and you decide to go down a new path. So Leo, there could be a sudden change of heart or a sudden change of mind where you, you drop these burdens, you drop this um, heaviness, and you just let it go. Okay, because this could be dropping a heaviness as well. I feel like somebody has been lying to themselves okay they've been lying to themselves and they may decide it's time for change it's time for me to make a change and stop focusing my energy in the wrong direction focusing my energy on you know whatever this devil brought in you know because now that's in the past and focus it on the future focus it on you know bringing control back to my life you know, because this is a crossroads and it can happen very suddenly, this two of wands where you have two paths, it's time to make a decision. And I can see that it's time to make a decision. And you're thinking about this decision right now. There's a lot of contemplation going on, okay? Now you may decide suddenly to go, okay? You may be feeling uh, restless, all right? And now you may, be, you may be feeling content and all of a sudden you get this revelation that it's time to go. Okay, because it looks like it is. It looks like it's time to go. You may get this revelation that this isn't destiny. It's not meant to be and I can't keep lying to myself. Okay. And it is a very emotional decision. It is. I can see that it is. It's an emotional decision to end some sort of relationship that isn't meant to be. Yeah, somebody is thinking about letting go, giving up, releasing. I'm, I can't put an energy into this anymore because it's not honest. It's not truthful. I've given it all I can give it and I can't pretend anymore. The nine of, the nine of wands reverse is letting go, giving up. So you guys may be giving up on a situation because it's not meant to be. You may finally realize that it's not meant to be and you can't be dishonest anymore. You have to act with integrity and somebody hasn't been. Somebody has to take back control. Somebody has to. With the devil reversed and the emperor upright, these are about taking, restoring control, taking back your life. 
and and this is impulsive and this is impulsive so i i really think that this could be a very quick decision where all of a sudden you get this epiphany that i can't do this anymore because i'm um, somebody is emotionally unavailable here and there's no there's no more forward movement it's like things are completely gone stagnant but somebody's been holding on because it's secure and stable you know even though there's not a lot of love here it's secure right it is i don't want to be alone so i feel like somebody is being naive and restless They're being naive because they're holding on to something that doesn't serve them, even though, you know, they're afraid to start a new journey, afraid to take a risk. But you are being given an opportunity from above for something new, a new security, a new stability. But somebody's clinging to the past. They're clinging to something that doesn't serve them. And that is what's going on here. Somebody is clinging to something from the past or whatever. This is clinging to something that doesn't serve them. Which is, is pretty much gone stale. It's time to answer the call. Here's the epiphany I was talking about. This is an epiphany. Receiving the... The epiphany, the awakening, the wake-up call that asks you to release the past. Release this. I feel like there's some sort of secret epiphany awakening that is going to happen very suddenly that may ask you to restore the, the control back to your life for you to take control. You know, it's going to take strength and you may lack it. You may lack the strength. You may lack the, the uh, confidence and the courage to do it. But it's in there. You have it. All you have to do is regain your focus. And take the lead. Be the boss of your own life. It's time for you to be the boss, Leo. You are the boss. And that may be exactly what the awakening is. It's like, you know what, I can't be controlled. I'm in control. Some, there's some sort of betrayal here. This could be the mask. Okay, the Seven of Swords is off, off and has a mask on. Okay, somebody is wearing a mask in this relationship in your life. Whether it's you or the person that you're dealing with. And somebody has been ignoring it. Ignoring the truth. Okay. Ignoring it and just letting the, letting, living a lie. Because they lack confidence. They lack the ability to let go of what doesn't serve them. So they may not even be communicating because that's the only way to handle it at this point. It's time to let go of the power struggles. I feel like you've been dissatisfied. And you've invested a lot in a situation. But it seems like nothing is happening. And now you may, may decide to turn your back on the whole situation because nothing's happening. Nothing's changing. There's a lack of realizing the truth and I feel like things it's going to happen the truth is going to come out okay I think that you're going to receive some sort of epiphany 
that changes everything. And it could happen very, very suddenly. I feel as though you could receive help from a Taurus Virgo Capricorn. And if you would let go of the power struggles, it would lead to happiness and abundance. But this is a very egotistical card as well. So don't let your ego hold you back. Pride. Because we have pride here too. There's too much pride to let go. It's time to bring balance back. It is. It's time to restore balance and harmony in your life and move away from the situation. It's a time of transition. It's a time to move away. To move on from something that is, isn't happening. I think there's codependency issues here. And I feel like many of you are probably going to receive some sort of revelation that changes your life quickly, very quickly. And asks you to bring back balance and take the lead and be the boss. You may have been dealing with somebody who was emotionally unavailable. Okay, and that, I mean, look at them all. We have the, and I say emotion, you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally unavailable. Okay, but you are. You can't deny those three cards. Whether this is you or the other person, somebody is emotionally unavailable, not able to offer you what you really, really want. And you can't fight destiny. If it's not meant to be, it's not meant to be. So I feel like this is a week where you will probably receive wherever that judgment card is. I don't know. It's in here somewhere. Oh, here it is. You will receive this epiphany that opens up a new door or suddenly changes your mind. So anyway, Leo, what I have for you this week is that you could receive some sort of news, revelation, um, epiphany, awakening that changes your course and allows you to be the boss of your own life and restore balance and harmony. I think you're dealing with somebody who is emotionally unavailable and you may come to that conclusion and make a change. Health. Whew. Health. I will honor the physical vessel that enshrines my soul. It's a good card for you. So, Leo, that is what I have for this week. I wish you the best of luck.